This is my travel pad. There are many like it, but this one is mine.
We giving y'all 60 seconds to report to the dance floor. No, 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 no. that's together, I think it's time for some hot glue. I don't like where this is going. Stop! Stop! With that, the travel pad is done. It was a fun project. It was very satisfying to build. I think one of the reasons why was because uh, it was kind of the same stuff I did before. So I'm pretty comfortable with all the steps now. You know, there wasn't too much that I was like really worried about. One of the biggest like low lights of the project was uh, getting those pieces welded wrong. And uh, yeah, just having to pay a bunch of money to get it fixed. I don't even blame the guy that I had do it. It wasn't like a machine shop or a metal fab place. It was a body shop that advertised that they do welding. So I think that was more my fault for just cheaping out. But in the end, uh, it got fixed and the switch frames uh, cut in half. I, it totally worked. I think that's a great way of using switch frames if you only have like two of them. So how does the pad actually feel? I feel like I say this every time I build a pad, but it feels exactly the same as uh, all my other pads. And again, it makes sense because I used arcade parts. The only thing is it's just 
smaller panels. I was worried that I would feel a little cramped on those panels given how tiny they are and that I would be like my foot would be slipping off the panels once in a while but it really doesn't do that. I mean for my form it, it really feels uh, exactly the same as the other pads I have. Overall calling it a travel pad is probably like a misnomer. It does fit in the largest suitcase that I have but that's not really one that you use for like domestic flights. It's also quite heavy. The plastic base did not do me any favors. It, it, is, it is a pretty heavy piece. All in, it seems like it's around 28 pounds, which is pretty heavy for something that you're supposed to carry around. Originally, I had planned on putting a handle on one of the edges of the pad so I could carry it around the house like with a, like a briefcase. But given how heavy it is now, I, I don't think that's a good idea. But it's not so heavy that you can't like you know easily pick it up and move it around. Um, and it's kind of nice to have something that's a little bit heavy because it's not going to slide around too much. Now something else I wanted to talk about was the bottom. So it is a, uh, the, the material the base is made out of is called uh, HDPE. So it's like a cutting board essentially. And uh, it's got some slip to it. Like you know you put it on a flat surface and you can slide it around pretty easily. And you don't really want your pad to slide around. They have these little shops in Brazil where they have these on a roll. There's like all these different types of foam. I think you use them for like yoga and stuff, but you just cut it to size and take what you want, pay by the meter. And I was going to spray glue it and stick it onto the pad on the bottom. But then I thought to myself, like, you know, if I ever have to take that off, uh, it's going to be a pain. So I ended up just cutting this piece like roughly to the shape and just putting it on the floor, putting the pad on top, and it works great. I can just move both whenever I need to. One tip for you guys, if you're ever trying to reproduce the feeling of a certain pad, I have all these EMUs cards that I don't even use, and uh, but I do use them for pad modding. And what I usually do is I'll take a stack of these, you know, maybe like three, and I'll put it on the panel, and I'll just rub it against the center panel, and then eventually one of the cards will slide over. And uh, or it might like, you know, because the center panel has some curves, so it might take some friction and then it goes. So I can kind of use the cards and like how many cards it takes and how much the friction is to dial in a comparison between like, you know, this pad or that pad. I know people are really interested in the cost. It always costs more than I think it's going to cost. I really didn't buy a lot with this. I had so much junk from... The previous projects where I you know <laughs> overspent on those the panels were free I had that um, I already had the switch frames I had the center panel had the center panel supports uh, I even had like the teensy and all of the light controllers and the wiring and I, I mean I had so much the things that I spent on this project were 80 bucks for the plastic base and that includes like 30 bucks for shipping and the welding of the frames, which ended up being the majority of the cost. You know, it was going to be 40 bucks, but then I spent 200, so it was like 240. Anyways, it's expensive when you build a pad, um, but you know, if you're frugal and you got a friend with some tools, and you know, th there's ways to make it cheap. Bil I was building it to a specification of like being as good as my other pads. So for me, cost wasn't too much of a factor I was worrying about. Even just when I look at the little uh, travel pad next to the big custom FSR pad uh, they look so similar you know they have that like black and silver aesthetic I, I think it's awesome but if anyone is is interested in my design and like the parts that I 3d printed I will have a link in uh, Thingiverse I'll put that in the description if you want to go and download them and tweak them I've only had a few like full sessions on the pad so far Overall, I'm very happy with it. I, I gotta say, it's 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 so similar to the other things I have, just in a smaller package, which is exactly what I wanted. There are some things I felt like I overlooked and I may not do again. The biggest is that I designed one of the corner pieces to take the plug for the power and the micro USB. I did really realize that you know you can step on that cable. It's right on the edge of the pad, so. If I if I was to step on it, it, I'm sure it would just like shear off the micro USB connector. If I was designing it again, I might uh, have the plug more recessed, so if you stepped on it, you would you would step on the wire. Now, there's just one more thing that I want to leave you guys with. You might be aware that I changed to being a no bar player sometime last year uh, because I was having some problems with uh, my my joints and my wrists. And you know, it's been a while since my 
wrists have had time to heal and everything. So I think it's about time for me to go back to using the bar. It's hard for me to wink like on command. It's like a 